this is one of the problems that came from a local industry they're having a issue between a shaft and a bearing misfit there was a vibration in the system so they couldn't figure out what's wrong with it so now they would like to um, perform some quality inspection on the shafts also on the bearings so this is the uh, design specifications for the bearing and the shaft and in this exercise we'll only discuss the uh, shaft quality and then the bearing will be similar so this is the shaft tolerance uh, given um, in the control chart we can control chart um, we can call these uh, specifications uh, limits or tolerance limit now i create so this is the design spec you can always go back to the video and check what is written here so this is the data collected by them on 18 different shafts and they measure each of these shafts three times or use three type different types of instruments so three operators it could be anything now it says that produce an appropriate trial control charts now this data is a variable type of data measurable data um, in terms of inches i think and then um, so check the other videos on how to create control chart also you should check the uh, capability analysis videos now in this video i'll only explain the problem and the solution i will not discuss how to create um, these different charts and capability now i have copied this in minitab let me create this uh, control charts So if you look at these control charts that I've created in Minitab, you can check the other video on how to create in Excel and Minitab in details. Now in this exercise, I'll only explain uh, what is the problem with this, uh, why they are having these vibration issues. Now if you look at this control um, charts, everything looks fine. It's, it is produced consistently within the control limit so if we go back to the questions that i have created um, so we have produced the trial control charts and the revise is not necessary uh, because there is no out of control points however the constant value changes so you need to recreate those and check the other videos on how to create a revised control chart so for this exercise i'm not gonna bother doing that so everything looks fine so the explanation for the control chart would be the shaft is produced within the control limits and that comes from the data this has nothing to do with basically um, this um, specification limits unless we uh, perform this capability analysis now you go i'll go to minitab and just perform a capability analysis quickly and this is normal distributed data now this is the capability analysis for the data and if you look at the process capability cp check the other videos on explanation of this um, 1.65 which is really really good um, however look at this um, cpk which is uh, when we when the process is shifted then we should use cpk not cp so this process is not capable because the cpk value is not 1.3 it's not even one so if you look at this uh, just to uh, give you a refresher so cp is insensitive of the process mean it's just the upper spec minus lower spec divided by the six sigma sigma comes from the data now on the other hand cpk is the uh, is very sensitive to the is sensitive to the um, process centered so in the process shifted then we should use this cpk not cp now it's not even meeting it's not even one so cpk value 0.9 means it's not meeting a lot of shafts are produced around this lower spec limit uh, so it will not be able to meet the specifications so let me go back to some more questions that i have created um so process capable no because it is shifted 
even the CP. So CP more than 1.3 means the process in fact can produce the shaft in certain limit. Now whether it can produce within this specification limit or not that's um, we don't know. Now if the process is not capable would you make some suggestion with respect to the analysis? Um, 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 we could make some um, in this case it looks like the process is shifted to the left so maybe the machine is set in a way that is produced the shaft a little bit uh, to the left side of the distribution so we can just simply tweak the machine most of the time a lot of times is the communication issues because if you look at the CP value it can consistently produce shaft within the control limits however it's not meeting the requirement because it's shifted and a lot of time it can be um, it's just a communication issue not necessarily a big process incapability issue so that would be the explanation for this problem